Welcome, Age of Empires friends, to this episode of Mundo News, where you get the latest information and news of this week, only here at Mundo News Channel. Who will be the next new king of the hippos? Well, hippo lover and AOZ legend Neil, or Neil Fred if you prefer, as all guys know him, he's organizing a new edition of the tournament called King of the Hippo. Perhaps you remember previous editions with very exciting games. This tournament is played in the modality FFA, which is basically all versus all, as you might know. So, players will kick each other with no mercy to try to win and then take the glory and 200 bucks. If you also like hippos or at least are not too much scared about them, then hesitate to sign up. Ha! Huh. Before we forget, this game shall be live streamed at Neil's channel, so don't forget to subscribe and find the links in the description. Nomad Battlegrounds 2v2 A new Nomad tournament is coming for pro players who enjoy playing this map. If you like Nomad and you feel like winning 200 bucks, this is your opportunity. Nomad Battlegrounds is a 2v2 tournament played on the standard Nomad map. This tournament will be played on user patch 1.5 using Wall of Law Kingdoms. 32 teams will fight for the glory. Starting with a single elimination in the first two rounds and switching to double elimination for the final eight. If there will be enough sign-ups, it will also host the silver bracket, so everyone will be able to participate. The tournament will start on Monday 11th of June. June, Monday 11th. Sign-ups will be open until June 10th. It is well known that Nomad is Nikab's favorite map by far. Will he return to play the tournament? Mario Ovalle is taking the game one step farther. Some people say Age of Empires 2 will never be an eSport. Well, you'll have to explain that to Mario Ovalle, who's soon to have around 8,000 subscribers and is building himself a gamer place for events in Bogota, Colombia. The Colombian caster showed us his new place in Bogota and confirmed the continuation of the 50k cup. This place which Mario has been working for some time, will serve to host Age of Empires tournament and other video games as well such as League of Legends and Fortnite. He also revealed that he is working on the brackets of the knockout stages of the 50k cup, which was stopped by the time in the Battle of Africa started. Way to go Mario, keep it up! New Scape Gaming Event it came to our ears that next Sunday, and with the collaborations of T90, a new escape event will be announced. An ever greater one than the previous one. The last thing we heard about this was the... It wasn't thought to be done in the US. Do you remember the interview we did with Tato about this? There, were, there was also something said at T90's channel a few months back. Well guys, we will have to wait until Sunday to know more about it, but without any doubt, we can prepare for a mega tournament in the second half of the years. Top players, start renewing just your passports. Taro becomes the fifth player to reach 2k6 in 1v1 new ranking of Google. The Spanish player reached the top of Vubli at the rate of 2600 while playing against the Chinese Vivi. Tata joins a small group of legions which uh, achieved this milestone in recent times. These guys are The Viper, Doubt, Mr. Yo, Vivi, and now our loved Roberto aka Tato. For those who the who don't know Bubbly's 1v1 ranking, ranking is pretty much for the most reliable one. Since in other platforms, there are guys with over 3000k, which are totally fakes. Long ago, this was also the case with Microsoft Zone. 
But luckily, that's a thing of the past. New beta for Wallala Kingdoms. Giant Apple brings us a new beta for the expansion support of Boobly. This one fixes bugs and brings interesting improvements to the, the gameplay. Thanks a lot, you great man. Weren't you done with Wallala Kingdoms? <laughs> Age of Empires, the most addictive systems of all. Good to have you back, man. Now we'll have the option of eliminating the demolition ships and the feudal fire ships, taking the game back to the old galley start. Too much change, isn't it? It will also limit the options that allow to nerf sling in tournaments, among others. New flash for defense. Age of Empires is more alive than ever. Automatic update for Nerd Rage Squid map pack on Steam. Nerd Rage Squid uploaded to Steam's workshop is map pack called Rage Squid Map Pack, which includes a brilliant versions of maps such as Rivia, Arena, Nomad, Random, and Deathmatch. The best thing is that by subscribing to this section at the workshop, he creates new maps. They'll be automatically be downloaded to you, so less effort for you guys. Thank NRQ, you're the best, bro. Talking about NRQ, NRQ have you watched his videos of Doubt vs. AKFQ, Age of Empires already? Don't miss this match, guys. It was a lot of fun. Find the link in the description. Patin wins the first duel of champions at Mundo AOE. Remember Patin? 2k5 in Bubli with the old ranking that went from 2007 to 2012. Well, the Argentinian legend is back to the game on this past Sunday he played against RMS in his particular in a, in a spectacular duel BO5 for $50 where Patin prevailed by 3 to 2. You can see the games in our Spanish channel. He also had a spectacular game played against Tato with his Nick Santos a few weeks back. You seriously can't miss that match, it's on Tato's channel. Soon we will open a poll in our Facebook page to choose Patin's next opponent. Do not forget to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mundoaoe if you have suggestions on who can be his next opponent. Do not hesitate to leave your comments here in the comments. A wolf skilling all Mexican villagers. Don't you, don't you just love it when all players come back to the game and start kicking asses as well? Well, I know Mexican player well known for enjoying the smurfing has returned in a spectacular way. Lobo. Which, Spanish, which in Spanish means wolf, has returned to the second edition of the Mexican Cup this year and has killed everyone so far. He reached the finals without any problems, defeating almost all the Mexican elite. His journey began on the round of the 16th finals, when without getting upset, he defeated 3-0 to to Xing, one of the good 2K Mexicans. In the quarterfinals, it was against the current champion, Dark Knight, who he defeated in an exciting set of games with 3-2. Arriving to the semifinals, he trains. He played against the fearsome Tatakai, supposedly the best player in Mexico today. Lobo defeated him in an exciting 3-1 matches. Lobo has now to play in the big final of the winner bracket against Bien Heimdall, another high-level Mexican. With the Wolf continue to play and eating all the Mexican villagers, ESOC Grand Tour of Age of Empires 3. This weekend, Saturday, May 19th at 15 GMT, the fifth tournament called SUP Cup is played with a price of 150 bucks. This tournament is the fifth in a series of eight tournaments that make up the Grand Tour. Each tournament gives points in a general table, and at the end of the event, more prizes will be given to the participants. The first ones today are Mito E, 
Conquer 999 and Kainizi. Do not miss live games on Twitch this weekend on ESOC TV. Well, guys, we're coming to the end. Uh, before we say goodbye, we want to invite you to our Discord server where all Moon stuff and fans chat about the most incredible ideas and how to keep these games alive for 10 years more. And find the link in the description. Well guys, this has been all for today, have a nice week and GG's for y'all!